with gold are laid. Where the tree of life is blooming and the roses never fade. Here they bloom but for a season. Soon their beauty is decayed. I am going to a city where the roses never fade. Love once gone to be with Jesus in their robes of white array. Now are waiting for my coming where the roses never fade. Here they bloom but for a season soon their beauty is decaying. I am going to a city where the roses never fade. Where the roses never fade. Where the Are you looking forward to going to heaven? I am. Amen and amen. I love to sing songs about heaven. And uh, I didn't write this one, Where the Roses Never Fade. I've been singing it since I was a young man. And I always puzzled about the credits that are given to the writers. It says, Where the Roses Never Fade, and then Words and Music by Elsie, Jack, and Jim. Elsie, Jack. Now, there are more than one Elsie, more than one Jack, more than one Jim, and I don't know if there are, are uh, more than one uh, group of three that could have written a song, but I never knew the names of these people. But I am glad today to give you my take on Where the Roses Never Fade, a wonderful song of hope about going to heaven. It's got uh, a number of themes in the song. I sang two of the three verses. But uh, I'm Pastor Brad Winnegar, and this is from the shepherd to the sheep, and we're doing our best to give you our take on this song. I looked it up. Elsie was Elsie Osborne, Jack Osborne, and James Miller. They collaborated in 1942, before my time, to write this song. And I'm thinking, wow, uh, roses are a common theme. We love roses, people that raise roses and have roses in their garden. Uh, of course, you constantly have to be concerned about the critters, you got to be concerned about the aphids and, uh, and uh, bugs, and uh, you have to be concerned about the deer. We have deer come around, and they think it's, uh, it's a very special buffet we've left out for them when they can chew on our roses. But even though there's no specific scripture that says there are going to be roses in heaven, I just have to imagine that there will be as we look forward to heaven, because... Uh, I'm thinking about that passage of Scripture found in Luke's Gospel, the 23rd chapter. Jesus is hanging on the cross. The two thieves, one on either side, have previously railed on him. And then one repents. And uh, he says, uh, Dost thou not fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And, and uh, he says unto Jesus in verse 42, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. He's talking about heaven. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. That's chapter 23 of Luke in verse 43. Thou shalt be with me in paradise. The word paradise is interesting. It's taken from a Persian word. It means a, a garden. And uh, that, I think, is the best expressive way Going to heaven is going to be refreshing, it's going to be wonderful, it's going to be beautiful, it's a land of joy and bliss, no problems, it's going to be like being in 
a beautiful, perfect garden all the time. The Lord says, Behold, I make all things new. And He's going to do that. There's only one way to get to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Whether you are like the thief on the cross or whether you are an upstanding citizen, everybody still is a lost sinner and needs a Savior. And Jesus Christ wants to save you right now. He wants to save your family. He wants to save your friends and business associates and, and uh, schoolmates. He wants to win your neighbors to himself. He wants folks to come to him today, won't you? Let's pray. While our heads are bowed and eyes are closed, I'm going to ask you that aren't sure of heaven to pray right now, just like the thief on the cross. Remember me, Lord, and here's how you say it. Pray from your heart. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I'm lost. I need a Savior. I want Jesus to come in and save me right now. Please take away my sins. Be my personal Savior. Take me to heaven when I die. If you prayed that prayer and meant it, would you let us know? And those of you who are winning souls, thank God for you. Keep after it. Right now, let's pray for others as well. Lord, we do pray for the member of the family that's hurting, that's having the problems. I pray, Lord, that you'll help them. Lord, uh, be with the one right now that's uh, come up short, doesn't have enough uh, in the way of cash. And Lord, you can supply every need according to your riches and glory. You're, helping people with their pain and with, uh, with their difficulty and with their hurting relationship. We ask, Lord, that you will meet our needs right now. We're on our way to heaven. In the meantime, Lord, help us along the way. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. I am going to a city. I am going to a city. Where the roses never fade. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.